is get these guys signed to proper deals, right? The ones with the highest potential. You're on £25 a week. God damn it. What was I thinking? Um, part time contract for you. Okay, fine. You don't, you don't want one. Yeah, let's just keep going then. We're up against FH. Everyone is fit. Apart from you down here. You know what? Let's give you a game instead of you. Here we go. Um, if you've won the last four matches against FH, it gives us confidence. Uh, it always helps to be as prolific as your team. If you if you can score goals, you always have a chance. Uh, what are your thoughts about the recent run of fixtures? We've struggled under the weight of recent fixtures. Hopefully, Carmel Awards lie ahead. Okay. Here we go. Just passing the ball around at the back. And Dyke, he's got loads of room. He scored, get in. Somewhat gone under the goalkeeper. We'll take it though. a load of room to run into I get the feeling that Hessenberg could become a good player for us if we if we gave him the time and the effort and the energy I think he might do all right oh no oh no where's he going oh darn Angulo Yeggs And Dyke, who's been booked already and scored. Jaeger, Essenberg. Ooh. God, where's he going? Well, in Diaz. Go on, Mounge. Get in. That's where we want him picking up the ball, in space on the edge of the box. He has a foot like a traction engine. Nice finish. Excellent, excellent awareness there, buddy. Just standing there waiting for the ball to drop down to his head. Didn't even jump. 
didn't even jump. Okay, and what's he doing? Don't do this, boys. Oh, for God. God's sake. Why are we so rubbish? Okay. Now we might be moving forward. There we go. Ooh, finish. Well on Yakes. We do need him to step up with the goals that Julian used to score for us. Did well, kind of just skipped inside there like that. Like that a lot. Diaz. Okay, Hearts Undertake is taking a knock. Oh no, we can't really afford. Can't really afford another injury at um at full back. We're gonna be playing four centre backs at this rate. Here's a question for you. What do we do if, another, if a new offer comes in? Do we stick or twist, depending on the offer? And Dyke. Mateus, and we need a goal. Finally. Fourth goal of the season for him, but... We seem to have waited a long time for one to come along. It's good football as well. And a good finish for once. Okay. Made it to half time. The second half underway. Would have preferred to stay on the bench. What? What? I agree with you. I, I do agree. Oh, hold on. Do you mean... Yeah, I was going to say. Do you mean as in when it's played rather than the split? Yeah, I think I agree. It gives us... It does give us more chance of... Of if we get European qualification of being fit for those periods when the qualification happens. That's all I would say. Um, but what I do like about this is the fact that it's still only 17 games a season as opposed to the the 25 or so. Uh, sorry, 45 or so. 17? No, that's not right. 27 instead of the, the 40 or 44 or you know whatever, depending on the league you're in. Also, I just wonder. I don't. What I'm intrigued about is what happens when qualification for the for the the um, the European Cup comes up. Ooh. It's got to be. He's just completely turned us and played that ball in to the corner of the net. No one anywhere near him. Let's take you off. I'm also going to take you off. Yeah. 
Mullins. Ooh. I'll go somewhere where I play August to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm inclined to agree to an extent. But I just wonder, you know, if we get, I don't what, what, do we know what the losing out on the Champions League qualifying in the first round pays? Do we have any idea? Because let's be honest, we're not going to get through the first round of qualification. That would be my assumption. But if it pays like 200 grand, that's huge for this football club, right? If it pays like 50, then it's, it's not so huge. We're 500 grand in debt. I don't know how much it pays. I wonder if there's a way of telling. 100k? That's that's relatively, relatively big. And then you've got the Europa League, right? We'll go and have a look. Oh my God, boys the hell do we do now we'll go and have a look in a bit um i've got no idea what we do in this situation we've just brought on the worst player in the world as well Yikes. What are you doing? No. Well done, mate. I take it all back. It's great. Can we just get the ball under control? See this game out, please. Six minutes. Oh, God. Great block. You're meant to be running after the ball, mate. There's making. Mullins into the box. Could have done with a penalty or a corner or either of those two things. Or a pullback. Oh, boys, don't concede a... F Ooh... goodness sake we'll go and have a look at the uh, the Champions League stuff and that in a bit what is that what was that oh god he's so slow he's like a bus Why didn't you just pick it up, you tool? What was that? What was that? Why didn't you pick it up and waste time like I've asked you to do? That'll be a good time to score, boys. Well. Uh, 
Um, not impressed. Not impressed at all. How did we... How do we do that, boys? Unbelievable. You're out. How long for? 12 days to three weeks. Well, crap. Okay. Okay, let's go and have a little look then. Um, not down here. How do I find it? How do I find it? Competitions. Not over here. Okay, good. First qualifying round. Appearance money, 85k. Second qualifying round. Eighty five K. Eighty five K. Loser championship payoff money. Loser prize money eighty five K. Sorry, and then round of loser prize money four point two eight million. Let's be honest, it's a hundred it's not let's use real money here. Use pounds. Um, so that's that's pretty crap money, right? The euro. Well, it's, it's not crap money. It's, it is what it is, right? And then the same for this. And then the same for that. Let's go to the other European ones as well. You mean the Conference League and that, yeah. So... I mean, the money is huge, but we are in a period where we, we're we now at the end of the, the season, right? So there will be jobs available. What's the playoff money here? Um, oh, you mean, sorry, in the... Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Let's just do this again. So this looks like it's all the same regardless of what happens. And then these are all appearances 85k again, and then you get different money depending on what stage you lose at. Then loads of money. So, I mean, it is big money, but equally, if we go and look at our team, our squad, right, we are 372 grand in debt, which isn't ideal. Let's just have a little peek, right? You know we like a little peek. Let's go to the job centre. What have we got? Yeah, half a mil is is good. But Stoke Stoke need a manager. These guys in Belgium, Canada, we go to Japan.
Wolfsburg in the Bundesliga. I presume they're going down. No? Any, any of these take your fancy? I mean, there's enough room for for um, opportunity there, right? Because we haven't reached the end of the season. So at the end of the season, there's going to be managers going out and new managers coming in, ultimately. Wolfsburg of interesting for you. I don't think they're going to want us. I mean, we could go in. The last time, I will just say, the last time I applied for a job, I got sacked instantly. Okay, let's do this game. Germany has zero registration rules, really? Let's do it. Uh, is a win in the Champions Cup an exceptional importance? Um, I'm going to rotate my squad, mainly because they're all injured. Well, when we got a game after this, we've got a little bit of time after. Do we want to apply for the job? Let's, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll save the game and we'll apply for the Wolfsburg job. Just because um, last time we went and applied for a job, literally instantly we were sacked. Okay. Who's the current favorite? This dude. Previously Brighton manager, Wolves manager. I mean, he's got a bit more credentials than us. I'm not going to lie. Also, I don't know if I've got enough qualifying thingies. Oops. done it's done on the eve of our champions cup final <laughs> we're applying for other jobs <laughs> okay good I get the feeling we're going to get absolutely spanked by this mob. After the last game, I just don't see how we, we do well. Now homegrown, but not by club. I tell you what we didn't check is when the qualifying starts. Last season. July. Yep, 
you're knackered. Let's make a change in there. I'm not sure it's the change we want, but you're knackered. We don't really have anyone else. Everson, you can play. There's a lot of people here who are disappointed with promises. God. I tell you what. We might give you a game. Oh, you're a defensive midfielder. We won't give you a game. Okay, I think this is the team. Good luck, boys. Oops, you need a number. Okay, good. Good luck, boys. Uh -oh. Is it the back post? Is the big man? We've got the same problem as we had last time. The Vasquez. I hate him. Oh, we've injured one of their players. Got no attacking <laughs> impetus whatsoever. Okay, good work, boys. Jaeger's in behind. All across. No one's there. Kinkella. Ooh. God, our goalkeeper, not sold on him. And Keller with a heavy touch. Vasquez at the back post. We're about to, oh no. Ooh, well done, Diaz. I wonder if there was an argument for us to start playing a defensive midfielder instead of an attacking midfielder. Scott, that is the worst touch you could have taken. Scott, that's the best touch you could have taken. Maybe we just have to start playing Scott, right? Playing Scott. And then Iverson. 
Great little ball in. Look how many yellow cards we've got. Uh, I guess we're going to have to ease off a little bit. I can't make the change. You're, you're too important. Okay, we're going to have to take you off. Jaeger, you're too tired. Oh, God. Don't you foul. Don't you foul. Okay. I'm a little bit worried about the centre halves and that being booked. Oh, my Lord, absolutely sold down the river. Unlucky, good effort. Don't you lose it there again. What are you doing? Oh, they are in behind. Ooh. They're all over us. Okay. Don't really know what we do here. Hello, we've scored a free kick for the first time in about a decade. Get in. It's a little early for this, but we're going time wasting. Probably draw the defensive line back, but he's so tired. Come on, boys. Another goal here would be huge. He has a near post. Ooh, ooh, oh no. 
We do leave two people back at least. Well done, Mullins. Also well done. Oh. Not sure the first time ball was ever on. Loads of room for them to run into. Oh no, he's at the back post. He's unmarked. It's a goal. God damn it. <laughs> you don't need to see that again. That was painful to watch. If it goes to penalties, we lose. We've got no good penalty takers. That's if we get there. Let's not concede another last minute goal in injury time, boys. that bounce mind if you blow the whistle ref this goes to extra time our team are absolutely knackered okay straight to pens um our penalty takers, not great, as you can see. <laughs> okay, good. Good luck, boys. Here we go. Good first pen. Good opportunity for you to show we don't need a new goalkeeper. Oh, Adri. Van Dijk. Finds the bomb corner. El Fatil. Fatley? Fatley, maybe. Probably not. De Kruic? Probably not. What are you looking at? Why would you run up and not stop? Take a breath. Figure out what you're doing. Oh, penalty. Our goalkeeper's got near one of these, I think. Come on, Keats. all over just need this one to go in here comes Diaz <laughs> need this one to go in and then we need Lopez to step up to the plate but is Diaz going to score the centre half yes good pen to be fair here it is Stefansson versus Adri Lopez it's a goal, right? Lopez has got nowhere near any of these. Well, 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 well. We don't need to see this. Well... That's on us. We gave it our best. Got the result and credit goes to them. Van Dyke came under increasing scrutiny recently. I can really handle it. I think any attention could actually help. Wow, balls. Let's send the assistant to it. Oh, 
Let's go and have a quick look at the old job center. I think that's it. There is Mullenbeek. Third in the Juleper Pro. Oh, hold on. They're 18th. Okay. I don't understand how we concede so many goals. It's late goals, I understand. We're, we're always tired, right? Right, I think we might play one more game and then wrap up for today. Uh, I've got a few things I need to go and do. Uh, border delighted. Wages far too high in relation to his importance to the team. Disappointed at the 4 0 defeat. Okay. Got a little bit of time before the, uh, the end of the transfer window. I'd rather you be played in a I'm gonna try and offer him out and give him some actual get some actual loan time. Um Um, okay, we'll keep, if you think you're good enough to, you think you're good enough to play and break you into the team, I, I admire that, I think. We should go and offer out all of these people who, um, who want loans if they've now signed contracts, right? So I think you've, I've just done you. You're a striker. I'd love for you to be a regular starter. Striker, I don't care so much about any of the money. Loan offer, you're an attacking midfielder. And you are a left winger. Okay, we'll see if we get any offers for those. At least I can't complain that I didn't try. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see how we do in this last one. They are currently third. What's happening? It's 
It's a bit of a shame that in this league they don't allow you to play youth players, regardless of whether they've been in the uh, squad or not, you know, in the club for three, three years or not. Should just allow you to play your youth players, right? Okay, we've got some loan offers. Squad player. Okay, well, look, I think we're going to have to accept these, right? Uh, you didn't miss much. We lost the um, we lost the cup final. Don't know if you saw that or not. Um, and then we're tr offering these guys out on loan. I was hoping to get playing time for them, but doesn't know that's going to be an option. And then I was whinging about the fact that the league doesn't allow us to play youth players um, in the team, regardless of whether they're registered or not for the squad. You know, they should just be able to be. If you play, you've got players under the, from Iceland who are under 21 years of age, they can play in the team. That should be just the change they make. Okay. Did I miss over here? Loan offers for you. Okay. So I think we're just going to play this one as the last one, and then we'll do next time. We'll do the end of the uh, the end of the window. Am I missing something over here? I've accepted them all, right? I could do with some lunch, you know. Whose idea was it to stream over lunchtime? Any low knees up? Doesn't look like it. Before you leave, can we go through the club a bit? Of course we can. Of course we can. You tell me what you want to see and I'll try and remember how to go to those screens. How does that sound? No one up for loan. Okay, let's just get this game played, and then during that game, you can tell me what you're looking to looking to see. Okay, Kinkella, Jaeger, these two should be the other way around, I think. Your fitness test is for 75 minutes. Well, I suspect we'll be swapping you around before then anyway I didn't oh, I didn't ask for the professional status because by the time we got to the end of the season we were we were 500 grand in debt um, and obviously if we go professional we're gonna have to play pay these people more um, so I, I didn't ask for it. I was hoping we could get this season we could get our debt to then next season ask the request um, But I don't know if that's going to happen. We're unbeaten in five matches against them. Um, you've rung the changes. Some of the changes have been enforced. Um, yeah, so I didn't. I didn't ask for it. I I hovered over the button, and then and then decided it probably wasn't the right approach, just simply because we didn't have the funds to do it. Um, I don't know. I'm assuming you must be able to. I don't know. I don't see why. No, because no, because you hear it all the time, right? And you used to hear it all the time in European competitions. Oh, this this dude's also a postman. Was that the FA Cup? 
Oh, it was Europe as well, right? Yeggs. Oh, come on. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. And as long as I guess there's probably more is the stadium. Um, that's a limit. And Dyke. Oh, little pirouette. Love that. Get in. Essenberg. I love that little pirouette. This is why we signed Hessenberg. He can shoot from range. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's, you know. Ooh. Advocado with the miss. Well done, Hessenberg. Love that battling. Where was there three of them here? I'm beginning to think we might need to go a bit more defensive. Without Julian to bail us out of the problems we've got. There were so many of them forward. 4-4-2 four, four, causes us problems. Do we go three at the back? Oh my lord. He's got a couple of screamers. I mean, let's be honest, any goal that hits the frame of the goal and then goes in is always good, right? Especially when you get the noise. Is there anything else you wanted to have a look at from the team? Yeah, you go. Van Dijk. Oh, my God. He wasn't long range. That's why they didn't score that. He should have done. I didn't see any of it, actually. Um, I saw the results. I, well, no, I saw... I saw Dortmund won. I didn't see... Did, did the other teams in it play? So that yesterday? If they did, I didn't see it. I saw that Sancho is performing fairly well. Yeah, Rail Bayern. What was the score yesterday? I didn't I didn't see. King Keller, we need more from you. Van Dyke, we need less of that from you. Uh, what was the... Bayern was leading in the 88th minute 1-0. Oh, no. Was it 3-1 or something stupid? Oh, Harry Kane. Get in, boys. Let's get our centre halves at full back again, as we love to do. 2 1 Real. What was this score in the first one? Was it 1 1? Was it, um, one, one? 
two two, something like that, right? I can't really remember what happened in the first leg. Oh man, I don't understand. I don't understand how Real Madrid just keep doing it. It's insane. Couldn't use what VAR because they blew the whistle prematurely. No, it's, me it's mental. The whole thing about this. I don't understand. I don't understand how we've got to a place where an offside is determined by a line that's drawn on a not high resolution, imi <laughs> resolution image and not always from in line with the, with the defender. It's mental to me that we're in that position where... That's the that's the decision that we get is is on something that isn't accurate, you know. And we've seen the scenarios equally. It wasn't clear and obvious. What does that even mean? It's mental to me. I don't understand. I mean, it is difficult, right? I get it's difficult, but if it's that difficult, then don't use it. You know, we used to we used to accept that goals were offside and didn't get given. It was a painful, but. Now all they're doing is still making the wrong decision and highlighting that they're making the wrong decision. It's crazy. I tell you what they should do, and I, I think ninety percent of the commentators you hear talk about football generally get the VAR decisions right without all of the technology that they're using. They generally get it right. They may as well in the in the VAR booth just listen to what the commentator is saying. And go, yeah, it was or it wasn't. Because most of the time, oh my lord, most of the time they're right. I guess it just comes down to referees not playing football and not understanding. It's such a weird thing that this is this is what football is. You can't even celebrate a goal. Mental. I tell you what it is, it's just little things that I don't get. Like the Joe Gomez against Tottenham, there was a clearance he made on the post and his foot was literally head height. You know, he, he was inches away from from um, Brennan Johnson's face. And I'm like, I don't think that should ever be a penalty, right? I don't I don't care how high his foot was. If, he, if you're not allowed to try and clear that ball, then what's the point, right? But at the same time, at the same time, you see it given over and over and over again. But then there's the Doku one where he, he kicks him in the chest and that's not a penalty. I don't get it. I just don't understand how... And, and I get that it's so difficult, but I just don't get it. it. All it's done is highlight that football, the rules of football can't be black and white because there's too many, there's too many little grey areas, right? And you... The fact that they give a foul for the same thing every everywhere else in the in the in the on the field, apart from apart from where it happened, you just it doesn't make sense. Yeah, and it doesn't help that footballers throw themselves on the floor, roll around. Um, the one thing I think the referees have got a little bit better at, not good enough, but a little bit better at, is knowing when that player is trying to buy a foul and just falls on the floor. Right, that's the most infuriating thing in football. No, absolutely, and that's what I'm saying, right? Is I don't understand the lines where the lines are drawn. The Doku one, if I'd have, I mean, it could be because I'm a Liverpool fan. I looked at that and I thought that's a penalty, right? He went in with his foot high, kicked him in the chest. It's, it's not too dissimilar to that Shabby Alonso one in the, and De Jong was it in in the whatever the Euros or the World Cup or whatever it was, right? He sort of lifts his foot high enough, doesn't really get the ball, kicks him in the chest. The Joe Gomez one, he lifts his foot higher, gets the ball. And you know, if if the 
if the Doku one is what I'm thinking is the penalty, then I have to say, I think the Gomez one is probably a penalty. I don't, I don't quite get the rules. And I think that's all it's done. It's made people who thought they understood the rules now don't get it. You know, it's weird. And I don't, I don't think, I certainly don't think the Gomez one was a penalty because if you can't clear the ball like that, we've got problems. The Doku one's a slightly different one because he, he kicks him with his studs in the, in the chest. Um, it's, it's, I don't get it. I just don't understand how. And if we can't define the rules before VAR, slowing it down is only going to make it worse. That's the issue, is that everything is played slower. And there was the Curtis Jones one earlier in the season where they showed the impact on the screen when the ref walked up the screen and then replayed it like four or five times in slow motion of Curtis Jones' foot going over the ball and catching the bloke in the shin. And at no point did they play it at full speed to show that his, his you know, it was foot bounced off the ball. And then and then you'll see the same thing in a ne- the next game. The ball's nowhere near, it catches them the same height, and it's not given as a not given as a red. It doesn't make sense. It's just so weird. I hate to say it, I also think Nottingham Forest may have a point where they said the VAR official isn't a is is a fan of the one of the opposition teams who we're in competition with. I think they could be part of that. I I hate to say it, I don't think I don't think we can just assume that referees are um, impartial. You know, and then there's like there's the worst bit is there's like this almighty uproar when you say it. But you know, you have to consider that maybe, just maybe, they are making decisions based on their allegiances at times. The one, the one that sticks in my mind was last season, I think it was, when it, Man City and the ball against Everton and the ball bounced up and hit, um, hit um, Diaz on, like, on the arm. It couldn't have been any more of a penalty. There was no one near him. You know, it wasn't intentional, but at the same thing, time, he's kind of controlled the ball and it's hit him square in the arm. And then the next, the next thing week, you see a penalty that's given someone's hand just being sort of by their side and it brushing their hand it's insane just so weird okay well look we're back top of the league however breed of have a game in hand Uh, we haven't heard anything from wolfsburg but i wouldn't get our hopes up about wolfsburg Um, we're heading in to where we think the european cup qualifiers will be uh we're in may we think they're in july um We're unbeaten in seven, although I don't feel like we're particularly good. We concede an awful lot of goals, um, which is painful. Um, And especially since they all come a little bit late. I don't understand what offers I've got here that I haven't accepted. I thought I'd accepted them all. I mean, it looks like I've accepted them all. So maybe there's another offer somewhere that I just don't see. Any offers for any of these players? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So I think let's hit the continue option here. We'll get to to the the next day and then we'll wrap up. Um, Players of the week. Nineteen year old goalkeeper do we show interest in him i've shown no interest in him whatsoever we know nothing about him well look i think i think this is us we're going to wrap up here for today is there anything i didn't show you alex that you wanted to see about the team or are we good to are we good to to crack on from here next time and see if we can do anything that might might get us a little bit more confidence in how we're playing. Because at the moment, I don't feel good about it. Uh, we don't need to go to this. Hire an intermediary. Arson is back. Fine. Well, look. I think we're going to wrap up here. Look, I've uh, I've enjoyed it. Um, 
I, I'm not feeling as confident as that. last season. I felt really confident this season. Nowhere near. I feel like we've got worse. Um, but we are unbeaten in a number of games, which I don't really understand. Well, I say we're unbeaten. We lost in the, the cup, but you know, in, in the league, we're unbeaten since the start of the season, which is pretty nice. Um, but we are second place, who uh, a team who have, have drawn even less. Uh, what stage and what stage finances? Okay, you want to see finances? We can have a look at that. Finances are not good. 490k in debt. We lost 118k in the last month alone. We made some, we lost some, we made some, we lost some. Um, income this season 8.77k and income this month, sorry, an expenditure this month 35k. Um, so not great in terms of not great in terms of money we're losing as we go. Um, what was the next question? Um, we'll recoup it in the summer. Absolutely. I think we'll get out of debt, but we've got to win the league again to be able to qualify for the things to get out of debt again, potentially. Um, so it could could be important. No, it's not. It's not the end of the world. You know, we're over our wage budget. I'm sure if we wanted to, we could probably go and sign someone. The problem is we don't have space in the squad. And that's that's the real issue is this is the thing that's killing us. It's this. It's the fact that we don't have any homegrown players. The one homegrown player we, we went and signed is terrible. But if we had some of these, it would make a huge difference. Um, you know, the problem is we just don't have it. Um, what stage of the UCL do you join? I don't know. How do I tell? Is it under the Icelandic rules? Um, is it down here somewhere? Top six time qualified to champions group. That's not it, right? It's over here. Where do I see it? The nations, how the hell do I see that? Um, hold on. Let's just go to any player, right? And hope he's from Iceland. Go to the globe, okay. Globe. Europe nations list. Is it this one? Is this what we're talking about? No. Nope. Glove next to the FM logo. The globe next to the X where you yeah. So we got that. We go to Europe. Nations list. So we've got this over here. Is this where I'm meant to be going? Um, where is no nations club go I've go back okay where am I to this <laughs> am I going back to this what is this showing me there's lots of 33s I don't even know what this means nation uh, nations club co under international oh, I'm so confused um, so I'm going to the globe right let's do this a stage at a time we're going to the globe we're going to Europe right ah here we go I see we're down here somewhere like right? we're 47th or something over here 32nd down here what does this actually tell me we got 16 for 29.30 Am I not in the right place? Globe Europe under internationals. I think I'm, I think I'm in the right place, right? Should be a list of where I join. 
่าแชมเปี้ยนส์ลีกคือแชมเปี้ยนส์แชมเปี้ยนส์พาร์ฟเฟิร์สควอลิฟายิ่งราวด์เราเริ่มต้นเราเริ่มต้นในขั้นต้นเราเริ่มต้นในขั้นต้นเราเริ่มต้นในขั้นต้นเราเริ่มต้นในขั้นต้นเราเริ่มต้นในขั้นต้นเราเริ่มต้นในขั้นต้นเราเริ่มต้นในเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคมคือวันที่ทุกคนเริ่มต้นในวันยุลาคม I might be back a little bit later playing something different. Um, I've got a couple of games that I want to try. I've got Mana Lords that I want to give a go to. I also want to try and learn how to play Dwarf Fortress. Um, but I've got to record some more God of War, War and I've got to record some more um, Rimwild. So uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get those sorted. Thank you so much. Hit the like button, subscribe button. Uh, head over to the member section if you want to check out every video that we upload. With early access, uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon.